Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'm sorry if I was a day or two off my normal schedule, I wasn't paying attention, so I apologize. And I'll make it up to you by referencing some big news at the very end of this video. For this video, I'm going to introduce two characters. One is a villain, and the other is basically a hero. And if you guys could bear with me, I'll introduce the two characters for you. Thank you in advance, and I just hope that this all works out. Wrath. Real name, Alexandra Mighty. Height and weight vast. Status villain and ruler of the Omega Gods. Base, the untrusted dimension. Intelligence, five brains and a plus. Behavior, nasty, destructive, and genocidal. She'll do absolutely anything to decimate her twin sister. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, defiance and betrayal. Powers, she has the same powers as her twin, except her powers are potentially negative in comparison. Eyes deep red, hair golden and wavy. Origin, in the beginning there was nothing, but out of nowhere a cosmic egg was manifested and from it came a pair of identical twin sisters who were since named Alexandra and Alexa. Through their absence of time, they both gained vast cosmic powers. When they got their powers, however, Alexandra argued with Alexa how they wished to use their, use their powers. The argument led to a fight in the empty void, and Alexa was able to defeat her twin. As punishment for her defiance, Alexandra was drained of her essence, supposedly for the rest of eternity. Unfortunately, Cosmic learned about Alexandra and used her powers to recover her essence after so long. Cosmic then created a dimension where the heroes were villains and the villains were heroes, strictly for Alexandra to rule. Renamed as Wrath, Alexandra now leads her Omega Gods members to stop at nothing to destroy Goddess who eventually became the ruler of the heroic Alpha Gods. Costume. She wears the same outfit as her twin. Team C. She simply leads the Omega Gods. Ultimate Inspiration, God, and Corruption. Here's the other character I'm going to introduce. Ooze. Real name, none. Height and weight, varied. Status, hero, and IML member. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, witty and compassionate. She admires the flavor of anything. Lethality, extremely dangerous, but only if she senses you as a careless opponent. Weaknesses, extreme temperatures. She has a bad case of binge eating disorder. Powers, she's entirely made of purple slime. She can consume almost any form of matter. She can defy gravity enabling her to travel up walls and travel without falling into any whole covered surfaces. She could slide into the simplest of cracks when needed. She could stretch to unrecorded distances, can morph into any shape, and can shift into any size she desires. She is also virtually indestructible. Eyes purple and made of slime. Hair purple and made of slime. Origin. One time, Dark Pym and Neuron decided to create an indestructible weapon in another attempt to destroy the innocents. With their combined efforts, they created a being resembling a woman made of an unnatural purple slime with a mind of her own. Giving her the name Ooze, the two forced her to go out to destroy the innocents. But due to her morality, Ooze refused and traveled to New York City where she encountered the heroic Colossa. Eventually, Cosmic arrived to destroy the globe and decided to eat Ooze, but Ooze gave Cosmic some morbid indigestion and she puked her out. Since then, Ooze was chosen by Colossa to become the latest member of a developing hero team known simply as the International Monster League, or IML, 
which includes Colossus as the leader, Ooze, Gilface, Dr. Fly, Kygericus, and Metamorphus to start things off. Costume. She is composed of deep purple slime. Team Solitary, with the International Monster League and other heroes. Order Inspiration, Benzoate Ostilazine Bicarbonate. Well, those are the two things I'm going to introduce, and just in case you guys didn't know, I've made this illustration that I posted on my blog of um, Phyllis Nocturne. She's a mass vamp. And I made this picture mere hours after marking her into existence. Just so you guys know in the future. And I finally got business cards that I hope I could send to Fanax in Salt Lake City. So that way I could be able to hand out as many of them as I can for the sake of social recognition. It's what it looks like right here. I hope it's not blurry or anything. I'm trying to make this work. I hope it's fluent on your guys' behalf. So, uh, there's a lot of things I have to keep in mind for the rest of the month and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. You don't have to. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the month and find time and such. And until next time, in transmission.